Next up, the seated row rear delt machine. Patrick, a lot of people train in the chest all the time and they forget about the back. They forget about the back and the shoulders and the rear delts. So give just the basic fundamental points about how to use this machine so people are hitting that back muscle and the rear deltoids correctly. This machine has a tremendous amount of adjustment, has a lot of pivot, so not that they say there is a right and a wrong, but there's a range that you should be working in. So say I'm going to do this and I want this to work my lats from a neutral position. I want to find where I'm going to sit. Okay, I even sometimes, even though it, I've been training for 20 years, I, if it's a machine I haven't used, I'll just sit down to see where it ends up with one arm. It's like real light, see where it is, see if I can feel the activation in my lat. I kind of like where that is right now. I might even come up just a little bit, one plate, okay? Then there's your chest pad. You want this to be out far enough to where you kind of have to reach around to get it. Like you can't reach them both with both hands. So I usually reach around, I'll pull so I can get it. This way at the bottom of my movement, I'm under full tension, full stretch. The weight's not hidden down, the weight stack's not there. So now head up. And just like we spoke about before with your chin up, I am going to retract both my scapulas first and then pull the weight all the way back. And for some added lower lat, you know, innovation, I'm going to drop my hands and kind of drive my hands down as I'm under tension and then again, let both my shoulders roll all the way forward. Don't, you don't want to be doing this and this. Keep planted so I'm all the way forward. And now to start the movement, retract my shoulders, pull all the way through to where you want my elbows behind my back, and then just draw, let everything roll all the way again under full stretch and tension.